Supporters of Congressman Ron Paul back in December 2007, celebrating the 234th anniversary of the Boston Tea Party with rallies across the nation and an online money bomb that raised millions of dollars for Ron Paul's presidential bid in 2008. Congressman Ron Paul's candidacy was arguably the spiritual godfather of what's now become the Tea Party movement. The current figurehead of the movement, arguably, is Sarah Palin. She's endorsed Ron Paul's son, Rand, who was open-minded enough to make his Senate campaign announcement several months ago on this very show. Rand Paul, like his dad, is philosophically a libertarian, but he's running for office as a Republican. Weirdly, Congressman Ron Paul himself is now under attack from the very movement that he seemingly inspired. He's getting primaried in his district in Texas by not one, not two, but three Republican challengers, all of whom have associated themselves with the Tea Party movement by attending or organizing Tea Party rallies. They're each apparently hoping that the anti-incumbent fervor of the Tea Party movement will sweep Ron Paul out of office. Yes, Ron Paul, the conservative candidate who in 2008 was able to draw more than 10,000 supporters away from the Republican National Convention with his libertarian message to attend his own shadow convention in Minneapolis. He's now getting challenged by the supposedly libertarian-leaning conservatives that his presidential candidacy inspired. If they're not cool with Ron Paul, who are they cool with? Joining us now is Dave Weigel, the senior reporter for the Washington Independent. He reported on this weekend's Tea Party convention in Nashville. Uh, Dave, it's very nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Oh, it's good to see you. Thanks. Um, so let me just ask you that last question. I mean, if they're not cool with Ron Paul, who are they cool with? I would have expected it to be kind of a nice fit between the Tea Party movement and Mr. Paul. Well, no, he, he's never been a really good fit with these types of conservative activists because of the war issue. Um, I, 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 I kind of got misty-eyed looking at those old Tea Party videos. I was at one in 2007 in Georgetown where Ron Paul activists put things like Federal Reserve and, and, uh, and unsound money on boxes and then jumped and smashed the boxes after they threw them on the floor. So they really didn't vent all this stuff. But the Tea Party movement is more one of cons like conservative McCain, conservative Palin voters who are conservative on everything, really, that, that, that is mainstream in the Republican Party. They're, they're more like Jim DeMint than they are like Ron Paul. Well, one of the most fun things in all of American politics for the past year has been trying to figure out the Tea Party movement, the, the, all this inchoate anger and energy in this movement, trying to figure out what it really means in political terms. And they do articulate their grievances as if they are libertarian grievances. But from your reporting, you're seeing that really what they're asking for is not, a, not libertarian policies. On, on economic policy, I, I think they've cribbed a little bit from him, but it's revealing. Whenever you hear that the Tea Party movement is completely independent and completely one of you know, inchoate populist anger, um, that leaves out that they're, very, they're, they're really pushing on an open, open door when it comes to the Republican Party. There's very little they say that the Republican Party disagrees with in the mainstream. Uh, Tom Tancredo, you played before, um, he, he, he was at um, the convention after he gave that speech and gave a little pep talk to a room on, immig uh, on immigration policy and said, hey, you, know, you, you guys did this really well before. Back in 2006, you were melting the phones and you were stopping the Congress from passing I immigration reform. Now, Ron Paul also happens to be against uh, immigration amnesty. But those libertarian ideas that might be popular at the Cato Institute, they're not really popular with Tea Party activists. They're much more hardcore conservatives who are really comfortable in the Republican Party. I feel like where I'm, where I'm getting to, and I am yeah. fired up about the Tom Tancredo call for the return to literacy tests thing. Not so much that he would do it, because he does stuff like that all the time, but that people would cheer for it. And I, f I guess I see the choose Ron Paul versus choose Sarah Palin test as kind of litmus test for the politics of the Tea Party movement. That combined with cheering Tancredo on this, I think, very racist appeal makes me feel like the modern Tea Party movement is an outgrowth of the sort of angry people we saw frustrated during the McCain-Palin campaign saying unpolitically correct things, things at rallies, uh, not an outgrowth of the people who had done Tea Parties before. Well, Ron Paul's not a saint on all of that stuff, but his movement was always, his movement, his presidential campaign, forget his associations, was always much more positive and much more about the, these, this basket of ideas that libertarians could implement uh, that would fix the country. They wanted to, when, when he talked about getting back to the Constitution, getting back to the Founders' vision, he was talking about, you know, getting American bases shut down, pulling out of foreign wars, 
uh, th abolishing social, social security, things like that. The Palin version of Tea Party um, conservatism is a little bit less specific. It's a lot more slogany. It has, you know, I guess you could write the talking points on your hand if you wanted to. Uh, and it, it, it's not so much about these well thought out historical solutions, but there's a general idea of the Constitution, and it just so happens to fit in with things that the Republican Party right now is very much into. So yeah, there's, there's, there's less, there are less difficult choices there. Dave Weigel is a senior reporter for the Washington Independent. Uh, Dave, thanks for your reporting on this continually, uh, and thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.